Namaste, and welcome to Swasti Vatika, the Garden of Wellness. We dedicate this story to all the fathers and fathers-to-be. Once there was a tree, and she loved a little boy. Every day the boy would come, and he would gather her leaves to make them into crowns and play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk and swing from her branches and eat all her apples. They would play hide and seek, and when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. The boy loved the tree very much, and the tree was happy. But as time went by, and the boy grew older, the tree became alone. And then one day, the boy came to the tree, and the tree said, come boy, come, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches eat all the apples and play in my shade and be happy. I'm too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apple, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you will be happy. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time, and the tree grew sad. Then one day, the boy came back, and the tree was shook with joy. She said, Come, boy, come, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches, and be happy. I'm too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm. I want a wife, I want children, and so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house. But you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. And the tree was happy. The boy stayed away for a long time. As time passed, he came back, and the tree was so happy she could barely speak. Come, boy, she whispered. Come play. I'm too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you shall sail away and be happy. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. After a long time, the boy came back again. I'm sorry, boy, said the tree. I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone, my branches are gone, my trunk is gone. The boy replied, my teeth too are weak for apples. I'm too old to swing on the branches, and I'm too tired to climb. I'm sorry, sighed the tree. I wish I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. I'm sorry. I don't need very much, said the boy. I just need a quiet place to sit and rest. I'm very tired. Well, said the tree, an old stump is very good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down, sit down and rest. And the boy did, and the tree was happy. The story has a symbolic representation of pure love, in particular, parenthood, and the level of sacrifice that comes with it. As the tree happily offered up every part of herself, her apple for the boy to sell in the city, her branches for him to build a house, her trunk for him to carve a small boat to sail away in, she gave away every part of herself until there was nothing left but a lonely stump in the wood. Similarly, parents will provide their best for their children, seeking nothing in return. Today, we celebrate Father's Day, honoring all the fatherhood in the influence of fathers in society, to those who work hard to take part of their family by providing for their needs, doing housework chores, spending time with their children, offer our appreciation. 
happy Father's Day.